So. One thing before we leave. So I put this post up yesterday, and uh, it's crazy. We were just talking about it in the car, and um, it just went viral on social media. So Which it was one? five jobs that I, AI will soon replace. Yeah, oh, okay. Five jobs that AI won't replace. Mm. And literally, this was the conversation that we were just having. It was me, Troy, 19 Keys, Abdullah, and um, we kind of came up with some different ones. So I want to get all of you guys' takes on Ian, your take on it. Yeah. Five jobs that AI will soon replace. Soon. Want to go first? Well, I'm, I'm going to yeah, read the list. Okay. Yeah, we was going Cust- back and forth. Customer service representatives. Big facts. Taxi and truck drivers. Okay. Medical assistants. That is true. Cashier. Very true. Now, this one, Keys actually brought this up, and I, I wasn't fully sold on it, and then he kind of fully explained it, and then we, computer coders. Oh, I agree a thousand percent. Well, because you still need a coder to coder coder. But you don't. You saw like camera on my computer. You need to coder to code the coder. So even though AI can be a computer coder, yes, you need a, a person to, to train yeah. the coder. Yeah, you need somebody to train the AI to code. But think of it like this: you like if you have an orchestra, you have the conductor and everyone behind. Imagine if you can just have one person. So now, like I'm even seeing junior coders. Now you use chat GPT and they have like the experience of someone who's been doing like 10 to 15 years. I, and I tell the story all the time. I let go of eight people. I had the fortune to no longer work with eight people and they were able to flourish in other areas of life, their life that they wanted to be a part of. You looked at the landscape and said, let's cut costs. I said, yo, <laughs> I said, wait, you don't miss any emails or text back or more any. efficient. That's way more efficient. So if I run a code or a script and I ask chat G- GTP, GPT to uh, improve upon it as if they are a senior coder at Meta or Google and it gives me the code mm-hmm. in two minutes. I mean, I think that's, that's I think amazing. Out of those four, I think the only one I don't think is soon, like the, 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 there's four that's like, yo, that's happening now. Mm-hmm. Right. When we talked about the Amazon store, I, I don't, I don't know if we're there yet for transportation. It well, will happen. Yeah. But I just don't know if it's soon. Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Soon as far as not, maybe not tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. But, the writing's on the wall. It's the writing's on the wall. Yeah. It's the like, on the wall this is one of those things. The other four, it's like, no, we can see that well, happening. Customer that, service reps. That's, that's now. Even at the hotel, we was having a conversation at three o'clock in the morning about Chat GBT. It was me, Mike, um, Franz. We was in the lobby. I think it was MG Mortgage Guy was down there. And y'all was all late last night. Whatever. This was the night before. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, a so the um, guys, yeah, the the guy at the hotel, he was just eavesdropping on the conversation. He works at the front desk, and he was like, I use Chat GBT every day. I mean, yeah, he was like, um, emails to clients. He was like, you know, um, you know, somebody has a, a leaky faucet or somebody has a complaint mm-hmm. and I just use it. And he was like, every time I send an email, it's a different email. Mm-hmm. Every time. Um, so he was like, I'm using that right now. So from yeah. the customer service standpoint, yeah, done. AI is over. It's done. Um, the cashier is almost done. done. Yeah. That's every done. time I go into Kroger, like it's one person working there. That's yeah. done. Yeah. So, all right. So five jobs that AI won't replace. That, that's, that was one that was like, we, we sat for like, Five minutes from like yeah. just throwing out things. I'm like, so, nah. the athlete. Okay. Can't see an AI replacing athletes I yet. Agree. Barber. Uh, l- listen, same if, reaction. If, if, listen, if Tristan gets a hold, like, okay, Tristan has a unique experience, right? Bevel hasn't been as hot. True. But I have seen some machines that can do like a decent precision. Jalen Rose type stuff. So. No, I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> now, if it gets to that level, <laughs> <laughs> we can get AI to Barbara here right now. You know what I mean? It's over. But I don't think it's there yet. But for middle of America, I can see like Supercuts throwing in $50 million and having a 24-hour service. Now, we wouldn't go, but there is a market to be served everywhere. I think a barber can be replaced. And for you non-punctual barbers, finito. Punctual. <laughs> and then, finito. <laughs> amount of time it takes inside the shop. Absolutely. And if you can go 24 hours. That's or have too. a robot come to your house and do it for you? Oh, God. You can pick the type of lineup you want. For you barbers that don't <laughs> use gloves, too, or you got bad breath, boy. Yo. <laughs> well, I still think that the barbers, they might be safe for a while. I don't yeah, see just yeah. a bunch of robots. For, for at least 15 years. Yeah, yeah. 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 Chefs. Really? Chefs in the kitchen. I don't see AI just automatic machines just making meals. Like, they make, they, uh, like, Assembly line, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about when I say a chef, I mean like restaurant, a restaurant, like a restaurant, real yeah. chef. Like personalized touch, cooking it, 
cooking it up. Chef Curry with the Salt Bay. You better go get your little AI and had that robot sprinkle like it down. Like as far as like the, the, the school lunch, one hundred percent. Yeah, machines can one hundred percent make yeah. that. Yeah, one thousand percent. But a chef, like on some Jetsons type situation, it yeah. goes a little bit goes into it. LCK needs some AI for that customer service sometime too. <laughs> to shout to y'all. Well, boy, I'll be in midtown. Be like, we we frequent there. Me too. <laughs> I'll call. Hey, Sharon. I'm sorry, your order sixty five minutes late. What are we doing? <laughs> I call my little tater tots and my little sauce. What are we doing? Well, so no, I, I don't think chefs are like hiring restaurants to be able to be replaced yet. Um, public speaker. Oh, I. Huh. You don't think so? Well, the, most public speakers bring no value. This is Ian, not Troy and Rashad. Well, when I say public speaker, even we're we're public speakers, right? So it's a different in person experience that you get when. So as far as like online mm -hmm. voiceovers and all that, one thousand percent. Yes. Right? But as far as actually going to see somebody speak publicly, yeah. whether it's a motivational speaker, whether it's an educational speaker, I think that there's still an in person experience yeah, that. Yeah. Has not been able to been duplicated. I'm gonna do your voice. How many of those are really good though? Yeah. Well, that's a different conversation. Yeah. I think what yeah. the the key part is the in person yeah. public speaking. That's what public keyword public. Well, some yeah. people might say, "Yo, I, I I do Zoom calls. I'm a public speaker. You yeah. can book me, right?" That's public speaking. You're speaking yeah. in front of an audience, so you yeah. are still public. But the in person now changes it until it becomes a hologram, <laughs> and that's the person who's speaking, right? Because like you said. Right now, mm -hmm. you're typing right while you're now. on stage. Yes. Right? <laughs> All right? But what if you can be in three different countries at the same time mm -hmm. with the same message? Mm -hmm. But And I may know a guy. So every mm -hmm. so let's just get this. It's tricky. Every career is in danger of being replaced. But we're saying like soon or later. These are like, I don't or see a hologram later. like in the next five years speaking. In nah, not, people. Not, nah, not, not, not in, in the next in five. 50 years? Potentially a hundred years. Yeah, definitely. It might be a hologram president in a hundred years. I think sooner than that. I think within the next 20, we'll start seeing yeah. hologram. We'll start. I mean, Las Vegas is trying to do the Whitney Houston show. Yeah. yeah. Residency. It's all hologram. Yeah. It's just hard to come down, And that's really a chip thing too. Yeah. For how much processing power it takes. But if the prices come down, um, it, remember, it'll be I mean, more. remember when Dre did this, when they did with Pac, it was yeah. like, it was game mind blowing. Like we've yeah. never seen anything like that. And we yeah. haven't seen anything since. Yeah. So the the last one was a little controversial. Religious minister. So this is something that people was like, is that a job? It's actually the biggest job. Um <laughs> so context. Huh? It's a big job. It's an important job. Is it the biggest job? I'm saying as far as money, monetization standpoint. Yeah, people don't know that part. Catholic yeah. Church owns more real estate than McDonald's. Yeah, that's big facts. They own the Island Manhattan. of Manhattan. <laughs> right. They own the Island of Manhattan. So, um, from, I'm just saying from a business standpoint, yeah. Right? Yes, religion is a business for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. And there's no religion without religious leaders. Mm -hmm. It's part of any, any core religion has leadership and people have to get information from. Mm-hmm. People, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily see that getting replaced by AI soon. I don't see that getting replaced by AI. I think out of all the ones you, we said, I think that's the one that is the furthest out of ever being replaced. I wouldn't say it's the furthest out because even if you, me, when we me. went to Davos and they were saying that um, Saudi Arabia is already training uh, um, Islamic AI. Mm. And they kind of went through the whole new religion, how countries and governments are using artificial intelligence mm -hmm. from a religious standpoint. Mm -hmm. So I don't necessarily think that is out of the realm of possibility. I'm, I just don't think it's going to happen soon. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You just said the same thing I'm saying. But no, but I'm just saying it's, it could, it, there's a pathway to see this happening. Yeah. Um, but I think that, Probably you need an in-person experience more than anything else. You know what would be interesting so? is to see how many of a generation actually still, I mean, even in America, how many people claim to be religious mm -hmm. and actually practice religion. Don't okay. care enough. Yeah, yeah. You're right to even yeah. go. Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I know a few people that go to church. But I, I think know many. Even if yeah, you, not many. Yeah, it's definitely waning for yeah. sure. But if but, Google put Jesus coming out the sky one day, and a hologram? You saw what Lizzo posted. <laughs> Boy, Yo. Jesus Christ. Boy, I'm like, Lord, I'm so sorry. Let me straighten up my life. Who said the resurrection will be a hologram? 
I mean, look, look, they, <laughs> they shot down a balloon and said that they thought it was from Russia when it was an alien spaceship. Wait, really? <laughs> huh? The one that flew over the yeah. United States? Yeah. Come on now. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility as if, if you really want to talk about propaganda. Oh yeah, if we want to go you that really way, wanna, especially in a time of duress. If it's yeah, if it's yeah, that'd be the best time to throw the bad signal. Oh, yeah. China, Russia want to take over? Jesus, right up there over Manhattan. The Lord coming to save everybody. He lives. See? <laughs> Just say it. Oh man, yeah, you got to study. We've been talking about Edward Bernays. You have to go study that book, Propaganda. No, you have to know when yeah. to strike, and when people are afraid. They're looking for any semblance of safety. If Google slaps Yahweh coming out the clouds on the, with the chariots, boy, the gates are open. Hey. So, <laughs> <laughs> any other careers that you think could be replaced, or any other careers that you think are oh. pretty safe? Oh, uh, you know one that's really in trouble because most of them don't bring any value anyway. Podcasters, it's over with. When they did that Jay Z voice, that was crazy. Flaw, almost flawlessly. The verse was not the greatest. So that's how it we do it. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Yeah. But it's like now, I'm going to be real. I'm trying to find that company right now so we can replicate our voices yeah. and put out 25 episodes. When, when I saw Guru post it. Yes. And that's his engineer. And he like he had a whole paragraph he wrote yeah. about how we need to figure this out. Because yes. how do you copyright somebody's voice? It's tough. Like, it is your intellectual property. property but like, yeah. there is no law. And even if you made a law here... What's to stop it from happening in Canada? What happens in Mexico? What happens in China? Oh, international laws are changing. It's different. Yeah. Podcasting, most influencers, YouTube creators are going to be in trouble because now you'll be able to put more things out at scale. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, education. Yes. Um, is it in danger or safe? It's in danger. I think it's in danger. Um, long term it is. Just from how efficient mm -hmm. this can be this technology can be yeah rather than you know the like we always talk about the industrialized way that you know school is, has been formatted mm -hmm. it doesn't even make sense anymore especially what they're learning yeah. imagine we we could streamline the process of what they're learning to their actual like needs mm -hmm. and wants because every, everybody doesn't learn the same and everybody doesn't want to learn the same knowledge yeah nor should they be forced to but that's kind of how it is like mm -hmm. you're going to learn a lot of these things and you'll probably use Two percent of it. Yeah. What about trades like electricians, plumbers? I think that'll be safe. Yeah, I think you need hands on for that. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I think those that, would be very that. safe. Waste yeah. management. Yeah. Like, like those careers, and those careers make a lot well, of money. Technology stepped into waste management. There used to be four guys on your garbage That's truck. True. Now it's one true. with the robot. That's true. Plumber, you can definitely use machine for plumbing, but I think you still have to have electricians. Might be a little bit more safer than plumbers. I, I agree. I can see a machine can definitely do some plumbing work, probably. The the plumbing work I've had done, there it can't be done without like a human manning it. Like I've had to have pipes. I had a belly in my pipe. They had to oh, dig, yeah, dig, yeah, dig, dig, yeah. and then they had to. You know, what I'm like there's no machine that yeah. can do that. It's even trying to. You ever see when they put the the, the, the scalpel snake, tool, the yeah, snake, yeah. to see yeah. like where the problem's coming from? Yeah. That you the need a person dropping Legos in the toilet and clothes. Oh my god, they'll stop yeah. using the, the wipes, yo. They're yeah. not flushable, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> plumbers are safe. Construction, commercial construction. Yeah. I think, what y'all think? Things yeah, oh, like boxable. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Mm, good point. Well, even construction. construction. I, I like this live audience. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> construction, <laughs> construction is in trouble. In danger. It's in danger. But it's important. You learn how to use all these tools. I know people feel like it's a lot of doom and gloom. But take all of these tools and learn how to use them in your business. Like, yeah. uh, I, at some point, I probably will bring like a bunch of VAs back on, but I'm going to train them on how to use like all the tools. Yeah. And, and we're talking about all these companies and how it could be disruptive. We gave you five or six. Another one to keep your eye on is C3.ai. Okay. Yeah. C3.ai is the ticker. It's the company. Look at what they're doing. Their whole 
business model is to scale AI. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So if we're talking about all these professions that are disrupting yeah. and their model, their business is based on scaling it, make sure you keep your eye on C3.ai. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>